I always know the wind was going to blow your back to me one day. <laughs> When Johnny Depp created Captain Jack Sparrow for the first Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, based on the popular Disney theme ride, he thought for sure he would be fired for the character's eccentricity and flamboyancy, but audiences seemed to take to Depp's brand of pirating. In the sequel, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Dead Man's Chest, we meet Jack Sparrow once again on the brink of another seafaring adventure. Johnny says he can't believe his plan worked. This one is completely, just totally, utterly Jerry Bruckheimer, you know, uh, everything's in, the kitchen sink, you know, everything. Um, and it's done uh, uh, with, with sort of, yeah, incredible taste. You know, he's the best guys to do, you know, it's, it's a, uh, it's impressive. It's it's very impressive. Um, so yeah, working on a Jerry Bruckheimer production is uh, is a different animal altogether. Nothing they could ask would, would surprise me anymore. You know, Johnny, we're going to put you in a cannon and vault you out to sea. You okay with that? Sure. Let's do it. This time, Johnny was up for the action adventure made possible by producer Jerry Bruckheimer, and was game for any challenges that might be thrown his way. It's still it's still shocking to me, you know, because all, I was handed this opportunity, you know, to, uh, uh, to make something of this, of this character and had pretty, pretty solid ideas about who he was and what he should be like and everything and there were, uh, there were a number of people who thought I were, I, that I was uh, nuts, you know, <laughs> um, but I was committed to the guy. A cannon didn't make the cut, but among some of Captain Jack's conquests, Johnny has a sword fight against a gigantic sea beast who spurts slime. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest opens Friday, July 7th.